Hello, welcome to our Success Factors How To Series on Continuous Performance Management. In our previous session, we looked at how to set goals for our direct reports using the Success Factors solution. Now, today's session is a follow up on that. All right, and in today's session, we're going to look at how to create activities. Now, when managers set goals for direct reports, it is required of the direct reports to create activities that they are undertaking to achieve these goals which are set for them. Now, this is very simple. And to do this, the direct report simply logs into the success factor solution, all right, and then comes to this home navigation or drop down menu and then clicks on it. Now, this will display a number of options and the direct report will just click on the continuous performance link. Now, once you click on that link, a separate or a new window opens, all right, where you have the activities tab, the achievement tab, and then the feedback tab. Now, since we're just gonna add an activity, we are gonna stay in the activity tab. To add an activity, you navigate to this icon here, plus add activity, and then you click on it. Once you click on it, this dialog box opens. Now, the dialog box contains an activity name, status, and then linking the activity to your performance goals. All right, now the activity name just allows you to describe the kind of activity that you're undertaking. The status also allows you to attach a priority to the activity, all right? So you might be undertaking a lot of activities and you want to show which one is more important or which one you're investing more time into, all right? So if you choose the high, it means that you are investing most of your time into this activity and it's a high priority activity, all right? So we have the medium and then we have also the low where you are not investing a lot of time into the activity and this priority is a bit on the low. Now, we also have the post status, which comes into play when your manager asks you to put an activity on hold. All right, now, if you are asked to cancel an activity, you just choose the cancel that status. After completing an activity, you also have the option to select the complete status. All right, so now let me just put in an activity right now and then let's see how the system works. So I'm going to look at manufacturing and your machines for customers. All right, so now after I've described the activity, I have to select a status. So I'm going to give this high priority status. All right. And then this success factor solution allows you to link every activity to a performance goal. Now, the solution wants to ensure that employees are not using the company time to do things which do not matter. All right, so every activity that you're undertaking, you'll be able to link it to a goal that is set for you by your manager. So I'm just going to do that link in here and then I click on save to save my activity. Now, after clicking on the save button, you realize that the system brings us back to our activity tab and I will see the activity that we just created, manufacturing 10 new machines for our customers. All right, now just beside that, you see this drop down link here, all right, where you can change the status of the activity. And we've gone through these ones already. Okay, so you have also some more options here where you have the option to request for feedback, edit the activity, or even delete the activity. Now, another ast astonishing feature about this activity tab here is the add and update. Now, this one allows you to have some engagements with your manager, all right? So you can give up information about what you're doing under this activity. So you can sort of break it down further and your manager can also engage you or even direct you using the add and update 
feature all right so let's look at it maybe i can just put something in here i can say so i have acquired assembling i've acquired a part of the machine for assembling all right so once i've done that you see i can also flag this update all right so so many things that you can do to it so that the manager will see that okay this update is quite important he has to just respond to it all right so once i've added an update i just click on okay my manager will receive the notification he will come and check up on it and then he'll be able to give me that continuous engagement that i need to probably undertake and be successful in this activity that'll be all for today in today's session we looked at how to add an activity using the success factors solution i hope you enjoyed this session all right so um, we'd love to hear from you and uh, if you've not already subscribed to this channel kindly do it and then you could also contact us using any of the social media available to you with the handle personal systems limited all right thank you and then see you next time bye for now